What is going on guys today? We are looking at Ricardo Pereira, the new 94 rated flashback left back. If you're tired of if you're tired of coming up against teams that want to rip your hair out every single day, make sure you check u7buy.com for the most reliable and cheapest coins on the market. And at checkout, make sure you hit that JT11 for 5% off your order and hopefully you have a good day. So in today's video, we have got another SBC player. We had Melito and obviously Chris Wood last time. And now we've got Pereira. I must admit, was expecting maybe a winger or something. He is a right back. That has now turned left back. And I'm interested to find out something. No, they didn't. I thought they may have changed his preferred foot because obviously he is a right-footed right back. I would have liked if they would have changed him from a right back to a left back with a left foot but again not necessarily the biggest loss in the world so he is now a four star four star the portuguese left back is gonna be kind of going against Cancelo. really he's kind of like the main person that you've kind of got to go with um he has got team player and early crosser as his two traits and he's gone up from an 84 to a 94 in terms of the upgrades then we've had 11 on his pace 16 shooting 14 passing 11 dribbling 14 defending and fifth physical some very very nice players that you can get there so let's have a look at these in games then so we've got the great pace obviously shooting wise now again a bit hit and miss but it's a fullback that's not too bad passing wise short and long is looking good dribbling looks fantastic the defending's good and even the physicality so the chemistry style people are looking at is obviously going to be that anchor it turns him into a 96 rated left back with 98 pace as well as defending and 96 physicality absolutely solid he's coming in with one sbc at about a hundred thousand coins just an 86 with a requirement of one premier league player and that is it so let's jump into him and see what he can do for us so he's into the main team. He obviously links with a bit of Virgil and Oli. Shouldn't be too much of an issue there. We're going to whack the anchor on, like I said. And I'll give you... Oh, we was going to whack the anchor on. Please be the first. Perfect. So just to quickly show you, as before, we'll get into the, the kind of end results of him. We get the good pace increase to 98. We get the defending to 98. And then a the physicality, 99 strength, 94 aggression, and 93 jumping. Very nice indeed. Pereira out. Love it. I'm going to try and go back to him. Just want to see what this speed is all about. Most left backs now can almost play as a fullback as we find him down the wing here. We've got Valverde right wing back coming in. Pace is enough. Got a bit of strength. Whips one in. It's a good pass. And like I say, most fullbacks, the stats that they have is just absolutely next level. So most of them can almost do up and down the wing and be pretty confident on the ball as well, which is always nice to see compared to uh, like the, the start of the game. That is a poor pass for myself. Valverde is going to be a very good opponent in this kind of right back scenario. Doesn't leave him and he's got the touch and bail. It's quality finish. <gasps> no, it's not. Love it. Here again into Pereira, looking for the Mbappe. Misses out entirely. Defending on him seems to be somewhat so good so far. Passing-wise, again, he's a, he's a solid left-back. I just don't know whether he would really kind of overtake a Cancelo. I think you've got the team of the year and the team of the season that I think Cancelo's just been an absolute dreamboat for a lot of people. Big it Good away. I think the problem with a lot of left-backs now, especially, is they're so cheap that... You could literally just pick whoever's kind of right for your team more than anything because most of them, well, you can't do much about that. Most of them will do a fantastic job anyway. Go back to him. The only thing I do like is that even though he is Prem as well, he's still only one team, which is always perfect. It's nice when you get a 94 player that you can you can grind out with, ob with up uh, upgrades on Monday. Plus, if you've already got a lot of fodder from all of the fodder packs in Summer Stars, that's a lovely little turn, but he read it like anything oh and my bail can do it as well to Pereira Oli looking for it let's see if we can go he's obviously got that weak foot nice little touch across bail with the one two going a little bit further back back over to Pereira I want to see what this crossing is all about as we find Oli with that little through ball and referee where is the foul he doesn't just fall over thin air pace of him is very nice gets back into position nicely does play quite a high line especially if you do bring him forward so he is kind of one of them ones that if you don't like your left back, right backs pushing up, I would definitely encourage the tactics to, to stay back whilst on attack. 
Some nice little dribbling. Do we? No, we don't get the corner. They're not bad. Not bad indeed. But again, I think that the left backs that we'll show you at the end results are just far better personally. Getting the overlap on the run again. Can we find? We'll go to Mbappe looking for that one ball. Gives the tackle. Is he offside this time? He just about is. But he gets up and down very, very nicely. We haven't had really anybody attacking that side yet. So we've kind of not really seen heavily what he's like kind of on the brink of kind of being the one center back that's a very risky pass but tackling wise i think with a lot of defenders in general when they're oh bad when they've got 98 defending as their kind of chemistry style version you just know what they're going to be all about it's interesting just to see what the animations say what they're like on the ball and off the ball and i think most definitely a nice card kind of at this point when you've not necessarily got absolutely everybody but I think, in general, there is still a lot of left-backs out there. Nuno Mendes is a big one that I've seen a hell of a lot of people get reds if you've been doing champs. So, it's whether he fits your team completely. If you need that Portuguese link, you've got, I think, is it Rafael Liao, um, the 97th team of the season for the Serie A. Again, a nice link you could get with uh, uh, Virgil or one of your Premier League defenders to get him on chem. But other than that... I don't think he's necessarily needed at this point of the game. He's got absolute pace to burn. Ooh, gets caught on the ball there. Four, four star, five star is always going to be nice as well. That is where potentially he would have the kind of upper hand compared to some because of that upgrade. You really wouldn't really want him as a, a three star, two star with the weak foot. And it would have been nice to maybe got a, a left foot on him instead of going right foot. I think that would have added just that little bit of a difference. But again, he isn't necessarily a shapeshifter. He is a flashback instead. So I can kind of understand maybe not necessarily doing that as he isn't a uh, shapeshifter. So if we are going into the overall forum then. So quick look at the SP. BC, just to show you what you kind of need, it is a Premier League 86 50 cam, pretty standard. What you're going to be looking at, foot, uh, fit, foot bin, FIFA bin, is obviously somebody going with a Cucurella, somebody who's more higher rated, and then you can just make everybody else cheaper. Uh, 86 is a 20, well, 12k, 3k, everything looks like it's kind of had that effect to drop down a little bit more now. 3.8 for an 84, so that's actually relatively nice, just purely for the fact that. Everything was so expensive more or less than like two days ago. But in terms of this card, like I said, we've got a hell of a lot of fullbacks, especially left backs as well. I definitely think there's quite a lot. You've got the Marcelo captains. Theo team of the season is unreal. Cancelo's team of the year team of the season. Schmelzer, Mendes, Davis. You then go further down with Pereira, Claude. You've then got Acuna, Bellerin, Cucurella. Roberto Carlos has to be on that name of the, of the list. And even Alexandro and Robertson, if you want to go that little bit further down. So he is in the top kind of side of ratings. That is definitely something that would do quite well. If you could, I wonder if there's any right backs that would be left backs. I suppose Tavernier could probably play both. I don't know. There's no actual uh, foot here. I wonder if you've got any right backs that are left backs because that, again, could be a nice change. If you had a left back that is a right back, you could swap them over and do it that way if you really wanted to. But in terms of what Pereira can bring in terms of stats, the pace-wise, very nice. The anchor does an absolute service for him. Gives him 98, 96, 98 on them stats that are affected. Shooting-wise, not too fussed. Passing is good enough. you got a bit of crossing, good vision, curve, pass, uh, short and long. Then even the dribbling is at a top level. The 4-4 is decent can't argue there and the portuguese links that he can have with obviously non-prem players if you have a diaz you even got a ronaldo with a strong link if you went him 9.7 mil but again we still move with that you could even get the the team of the season if you really wanted to and put him as a dm felix is another cracking one guerrero if you've gone to center mid you could potentially move him out of that position if you really wanted to or even that is a perfect example even though he is a right-footed left-back himself, you could have gone with a left-footed Guerrero that would have been absolutely perfect. Ah, see, they did do it as well. So he is actually a left-footed in that version. I wonder... Yeah, you could go potentially centre mid with him if you really wanted to, to get that position changed if you really wanted. So again, there is loads and loads of options for Pereira. There isn't necessarily... If you can just click that... Oh, wrong one. If you don't necessarily have to go uh, and stick with a left back, you have got multiple options. His stats are pretty good throughout as well. And even his ability on the ball is quite nice. You know, he's not necessarily a stocky player. He's got the high, high work rates. You could go and go potentially with thinking something more kind of 
shooting based because he's already got 94. You could potentially go with, yeah, you could go with a Hawk and go for a more box-to-box -box DM sort of style. There is that that if you wanted to do, even with an anchor, you could argue as a DM most definitely would work as well. So this is where you get to be a little bit more creative with what you actually use and how you use it. There's high rateds everywhere and the positions have changed. So Shapeshifters has actually done a service to actually move players in different positions if you wanted to experiment with your team rather than just having the main meta squad. At this point, it's nice to have a little bit of fun with the objectives, with the cups, and really kind of just enhance your squad a little bit differently. So if you did enjoy the video, make sure you do like and subscribe. As a left back, I'd give him a solid 9.4. I think definitely Cancelo and Theo are the main two that I personally really enjoy. Nuno Mendes definitely comes under there, but Pereira's definitely got some ability in this position. So let me know down below if you are completing him and if you would change his position. Make sure you do like and subscribe, like I said, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Also, check out the video that has popped up on that left-hand side, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.